Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. The evils of racism. I couldn't find any of the photos of the individuals that we're going to talk about, but I did pick up this article from Black Enterprise. Four racist white men. It says four white men were arrested for beating a black man. What on what they called stomped a n-word night meaning that these random white racists just attacked a black man just because he's a black man this is from black enterprise the article is from cedric big said thornton um here we are four white men have been arrested after being accused of beating a black man at a local bar in Pennsylvania. So this happened in Pennsylvania. According to the Cheryl Heard, four white men have been hit with charges including conspiracy to commit aggravated assault and reckless endangerment after they were accused of beating a black man at a local bar in Mercer's country, Pennsylvania. But where's the hate crime charge? Where's the hate crime charge? I bet you if the black man was Asian, they would get that that charge. If this if this man was part of the academy, the the there would have been a hate crime charge. By the way, where is Jim Crow Tro and Chameleon Harris with that black uh anti-black crime bill to stop anti-black racism you know the one just like the one that the asians got see we can't get a, a, a anti um, hate crime bill but other groups can and this would be a good time for an anti crime bill uh, crime bill that protects black people But we get anti, we, we get crime bills that hurt black people. We get that. But anyway, back to the, to the story. The four white men. Now here are the names. Thomas L. Boyer II. He's age 48. And Casey Thomas Boyer, 27. Uh, these are brothers. Both of, 245 Byers Road, um, Harrisville, John Michael Fortuna, 41, of 90 Sh Shananugan Park, Lot 64, Permanent Turn Township, and, and this, that's the third man, and the fourth man is Pauline Keeler, 46, of 42 North St. West Middlesex, will be facing a preliminary hearing on May 25th. Well, this is, well, right now, um, this was the, actually, recently. So, um, as you know, this, this was already the past. On the charges of steaming from an attack on a black man in Shara Bar at a Shanar Bar. The men were charged nearly two weeks ago with ethnic intimidation, aggravated assault, conspiracy to commit aggravated assault, riot, and reckless endangerment. But no hate crime charge. Where is the hate crime charge? Boyer was also charged with robbery after police accused him of stealing the man's watch. But like I said, no hate crime charge. The police department in oh sorry. Um the police department in Sherna stated that police officers responded to a report of a fight after midnight on April twenty ninth at Margolo Bar, which is located at thirty eight in Main um, Avenue where the officers, when the officers arrived, they saw the four men leaving the premise on their motorcycles. In a criminal complaint, police officers said that according to two witnesses, the video surveillance image and the victim's account 
it points to the four men attacking the victim. The victim sustained several injuries, including a cut on his hands and bruising to his face. The victim could not remember his correct address and was unable to say his social security number. He was treated at a hospital for the, a concussion and other injuries. The victim stated to the police officers that he did not know the four white men that assaulted him. One of them, one of the men blocked his path when he tried to use the bathroom. When that took place, it started an altercation and he was attacked and knocked down by the white men. Witness also told police officers that they heard the four men using racial slurs, and one witness reported hearing one of the men say, looks like it's going to be a stomp, a inward night. But like I said, they did not charge him with hate crimes. We can't get a hate crime bill like other groups can, but not black people. This is why we need a anti-black crime bill that protects black people from racists who attack black people. But Jim Crow Joe is not going to give us something tangible that's going to help black people like he does with other groups. But I hope these guys get severely punished. This was attempted murder. This was a hate crime. Why did they not charge him with those charges? These people need to suffer for what they've done and worse. We're going to have to defend ourselves out here from these races that keep attacking us. We're going to have to defend ourselves. Watch our surroundings. Be careful where we walk. Be careful where we drive at. Be careful where we're, we decide to uh, let our guard down because the, these races... They're getting more and more bold. It, it, it's a war out there right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a war going on right here. It's been a war going on. And we're going to have to do our, do our part to defend ourselves and to defend those who cannot defend themselves. Because it's getting, it's, it's, it's a full on war right now. But that's all I have to say about this article. I'll leave the link to this article in the description box and comment section. Write down what you think in the comment section, what you think about this. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification bell wherever you're watching this video. Follow me wherever you're watching this video. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, Black Junction, Black Shares TV, Patreon. I'll leave the link to all the different accounts in the description box and comment section. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching and I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.